Taurus. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for my new subscribers and for the ones that haven't unsubscribed yet. Thank you, thank you, thank you for the shares, the likes, um, the comments. Let's get started and see what we get here. Let's see. Give me Taurus's energy towards this person. Remember the roles can be reversed and it is a general, not a personal. Let's see, Taurus's energy. Hmm. Towards this person. Ooh, deja vu. You're remembering all the good and bad stuff about this person. Mm. You don't want to go through the same thing over and over again. Ooh. This person could be dealing with some codependency issues too. Some harsh lessons. They feel stuck. Bottom of the deck. Somebody here is not being optimistic about this. Um, someone's not learning from this situation. Could be them. Kind of seems like it. Because of the codependency. Let's see what we have. I mixed these up. Oops. Okay. For Taurus and this person. Yep, somebody's not healing. Someone's not healing from this yet. Give me more on this. Taurus is energy towards this person target wanted to come out loving you is the most painful thing i've ever done soulmate you are my soulmate a dream come true and a lot of lust and chemistry between you two if only you knew how much i crave you that's Mars energy. So you could be in this energy already or going to be feeling that sense of having them near you. Hence the lust. <laughs> I'm just saying. Give me more of this codependency. Their energy towards Taurus. Spirit guides. under pressure that's interesting virgo just got this i'm under a lot of pressure please be understanding okay fatal even i'm sorry for what i've done there's a whole there's not a whole lot i can say or they just don't know what to say children children are important to me and it's affecting our connection there could be children uh, involved here there could be someone else as well it could be a or a third influence here give me if there's no children involved then you you really feel that this person brings out the the childhood within you bottom of the deck karmic love this love is too painful to keep holding on someone's just not happy here i think we got euphoria or optimistic underneath the other deck so it someone has to learn how to be happy with or without this person or they need to learn how to be happy within themselves that's what i'm getting Let's see. Give me more of this unrequited love. So it kind of seems like someone's just wanting reconciliation here, wants to communicate and about moving forward and reconciling 
making things, you know, doing things over. Give me more of this soulmate. You're really, really wanting to move forward. You really feel it in your heart that this is someone that you're meant to move forward with. Give me more of this lust. And you're like trying to trust the universe, but that things will be taken care of. You feel stuck at times. Yeah, you feel stuck at home. You feel like maybe, I don't know why I'm getting this, like everybody else has their own thing going on and you are the only single person kind of thing. Like you look around and everyone else has someone else. I don't know why I'm getting that. That's just what's what just what I just got. <laughs> Why is the four of wands here? Yeah, you're trying to heal from this. You're trying to gain your courage to just move forward. You're trying to take your power back. Why is the chariot here for Taurus? Yep, you're trying to move forward. Leave the past behind you, even if it's a soulmate. You're trying to balance your energies and move forward. Some of you are wanting to talk to this person before you move forward. Give me more of this under pressure. They're stressed about something. What is it that they're stressed about? work that's interesting it's just about work working on something yeah they're having to go through this harsh lesson regarding work i don't know if maybe they've closed the door on work and they're stressing about working um there's could be an online business as well it could be someone from far away uh, or working far away or leaving town to go to work somewhere else um but there's something about work they feel under pressure mm -hmm. i feel like they're having to learn a harsh lesson regarding money or work and they're stressing about it they feel stuck give me more of this fatal event yeah, something about maybe leaving or getting themselves grounded. Give me more on this fatal event for this person. Yeah, they want to let go of their burdens. They feel tired. They feel pressured. They feel exhausted here. Give me more of this children. They feel like if they would get love involved it would even give them you know a lot more than what they can handle <clears throat> but they're they are feeling this love give me more on this children i don't know if this person has children or something they could be stuck because of children I don't know if this... I'm picking up on someone that has children here. Yeah, they want to free themselves from either maybe even child support here. Or... This can also involve the, code of, the codependency, the eight of wands, wanting to free themselves from any burden is they don't want responsibilities. Or they want to free themselves from their thoughts here. Interesting. Um, or codependency with the Eight of Swords. Kind of getting a feeling of childhood wounds. And they're trying to free themselves of how they're feeling. What is this about, Spirit Guides? Give me more on this. Yeah, they're trying to heal from something, too. We have the Four of 
swords. They're wanting to also take off their mask and really tell... I feel like it's tell you the truth about something. They're trying to heal. They're thinking about things. On how to come and take off their mask of what they're feeling, what they're going through. Interesting. Bottom of the deck. Problem here is someone's not thinking optimistic about it. Could be a Virgo. Whoever is not being like going out doing things. That's a lot of people right now though. Because <laughs> of what's going on in the world. But someone's here not thinking optimistic. We have two optimistic cards underneath. Someone's not thinking optimistic about this connection anymore. But I feel like it's because this person has other things on their mind. I don't necessarily feel like it's love. I feel like there's a lot of burdens, a lot of responsibilities, work, a situation that they're stressed about. And a lot of people are stressing about work right now. Let's see. Give me more on this Taurus and this person. flames <laughs> wow okay you have met your twin flame and even though it will be challenging it can create a profound and life-altering sense of wholeness i feel like um if it is twin flame soulmate situation they're supposed to be in your life for a reason and vice versa is to really bring out the worst in you or in them to fix it or to project not project but bring something about you or about them I, I mean for both so both of you can fix each other not each other but fix you can fix yourself and they need to fix themselves mm -hmm. And if they're under pressure and they're running away and trying to indulge in work, they're not doing the work themselves. That's why they're feeling stuck. Mm -hmm. Give me more on this person's... I know you're watching me. <laughs> he wants to come out. This person's energy towards Taurus. You still hold a piece of my heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why we have the lovers here because they still think about you a lot i don't feel like you both are talking right now i can still see you standing there i know i made a huge mistake you can't come where i'm going i couldn't tell you face to face i don't think i can take your reaction right now i don't know if let's see they kind of find it hard to carry on a relationship with you right now that's what I'm getting here but what is this I can't I couldn't tell you face to face that's why they're wanting to take off their mask here and they're going crazy they're stressing either regarding their future here messaging you they're stressing either about money as well money that really affects their future i'm getting a future with that card mm -hmm. interesting give me more messages for taurus and this person give me more messages regarding taurus and this person mirror effect this is what I think virgo had but virgo had a very deep uh, not a very good reading but anyways we have you'll share unwanted habits or traits with a new love interest of course them as well likely reflecting something in yourself see it's like both of you have something to learn here They'll bring out the shadow in you and you'll bring out the shadow in them. 
which makes both of you realize that you need to fix something within yourself. That's a twin flame connection. Mm -hmm. So that's what I have for this. Um, let's see what kind of signs I have here. Earth, fire, Sagittarius, Cancer, a Taurus, um, another Taurus could be a Pisces, a Sag, Leo, fire signs, a Taurus, um, Scorpio, Leo, Aquarius, Earth, Gemini, fire, air, Pisces, another Pisces or Gemini or Aries here. So that is what I have. I hope this felt like it resonated. Thank you so much and take care of you. Bye.